Okay, folks, when somebody speeds up a video of live footage, and then you know that you haven't seen puffy clouds like this around for a while, and then what's really kind of funny is the actual factual is, I think that this guy has basically uh, known about chemtrails and so forth and so on. Okay, so we got white puffy clouds that we ain't even seen in a long time. Nice ones, natural. And it looks like backdrop, and then I started zooming in on it. So... Tattoo, someone fooled you. It's Tattoo, Tat Tot 1009, or either that or someone's trying to piss him off by making fake videos or something like that. But let me blow this up for you, and you're going to see the actual factual that this is basically fake. It's not even real. It's like a video game of vehicles. Okay? And basically, you can tell by just the markings on it alone. Now, I'm going to move the video back a little bit. And you can see the little window. You'll see this, and we'll start at, like, the beginning. Because I started looking at it, and I was like, well, that's not American. Uh... And then I, I was noticing the train, too. We'll, we'll let the train play, too. It's like some vil uh, deal, because basically, there's Union Pacific train that someone's got a picture of, Okay. And then the footage, I started like, what the hell is with the, the background? And it started looking like I'm looking at the edges around the train engine and stuff like that. Because if I video this, I know where the air vents are at and are on this train and stuff like that, okay? Plus, the one video was showing, and it's like, okay, they were going to, they're in Burbank and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, I know where that's at because I lived in California before because I knew the footage. So, I'm not going to worry about showing that too much because I'm always kind of patriotic with the idea of the case. Then somebody's telling you where all these armaments are moving and everything like that what the hell okay and then he said it's like, i apologize for speeding up for the time of the deal but the actual factual is he sped it up to cover up this it's all fake okay now u.s armament does have some ivan code trucks and and so forth and so on but basically this is fake and he said he sped it up and this is fake you can blow in on this and you can see the tires, and you can see it's fake. Okay? You can see this tire is fake here. You can see the background is fake. You can even see the grass is fuzzed and bluffed up. Okay? Move it ahead a little bit. And basically, I will freeze something that will just catch my eye real fakish, and that's fakish. Fakish is hell. Okay? Because no U.S. armament is going to have an Ivanko truck like this. I don't, I'm not saying that the U.S. doesn't have anything in its arsenal like this, because they probably do own some Ivan Co. trucks maybe somewhere. But you're going to have brand new or the same tires all the way around. Not like this, okay? Then also check this out, these tires on the next one right in front of it. See, see those tires? See how they're fluffed and muffed? Okay, so I'm going to go down to smaller size, and then we'll just blow it up. So basically, he may have got fooled himself if he wasn't paying attention enough. This is all fake, okay? So if, and I know it's not by the U.S. government. The U.S. government can do a lot better job of faking uh, movement, okay? Barrage, balloons, because basically we've got them. We can make a lot of shit look real nasty real fast, and it could even be fake, we could just have barrage balloons on a shitload of trains. Uh, this is not it. This is not video of that. This is basically a studio job. And you can see by the ground, too, that it changes. Now, what I'll do is you see how the ground and the, and the grass changes and all this fake armament that's on this train. And real fast, we'll plop out of the zoom that I've got in on it. And we're going to make the ground look real again. Okay? Because as they start into the footage... Somebody pulls up in a car or something like that, and it pretty much is realistic for a minute. And then you watch the edges of everything, and you can tell if something's fake or not. I used to work in a movie theater when I was a kid. So when I see fake footage, I know fake footage, okay? Right as that guy goes in that truck over there, that's what, this is when the airbrushing, the airbrushing starts right now. Because I know that that... If you watch the train lights, they change. And as you see these stop, 
When these stop blinking, they never stop blinking in reality. But see how they stop blinking for a second? So that's what caught my eye. So it's all fake. This is, this is at the end is fake. Because watch the lights quit blinking. See how they quit blinking there? Well, railroad lights don't quit blinking. Okay? They are not state of the art. They're ancient and they will not quit blinking. Okay? So who is doing that? Because these lights won't quit blinking. Okay? Once they're blinking, they won't quit blinking. And if they did, then Union Pacific is going to have their ass in a bind because the <laughs> U.S. government is going to want their ass on a rail because their lights ain't working right. Okay, this is airbrushed. Okay, airbrushed and Hollywood and who is making fake videos? And he speds it up to cover all the fakeness. Wild, all right. A bunch of wild shit, horse shit. Going real fast to start with. And even faster now. It's like, well, he's sore, but it's just all fake shit. So someone's trying to entice a civil war or civil action or some kind of crap. Someone's doing some kind of bullshit. And this is the best of all right here. Check this out. Okay. And I've got it on full. And we all know Humvees. Okay. I'm on large picture. No, I'm not. I don't want to get to large picture. Let's go to large picture. Oh, and isn't it nice how what I have uncovered, okay, now basically I think I might be able to get back there real fast because everybody knows what a Humvee looks like. And we're going to see an airbrushed Humvee because I'll show you an airbrushed Humvee. We had it a second ago there. You can even freeze it. And that's the one there that basically here's another one that, Army, U.S. Army military truck looks like an old one, and we'll blow up on that. These ones have Rockwell drive lines and everything in them with some decent bucks, because, and that thing is a piece of nothing. You see this fake tire and shot and everything there? And someone's trying to impose some kind of a goofy... Uh, Americans never do a camouflage color like that. So... So here's more faked out Humvee tires and stuff like that and this and that. And yes, if we had barrage balloons, but this is all airbrushing because you can see the grass is even airbrushed, okay? And we have some good barrage balloons, but these aren't barrage balloons, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Because even the barrage balloons that the U.S. military has, it looks really good. And they're really, really fucking vivid, okay? They look really good, okay? And we have spies daily in America on the face of the earth that you don't know. You've lived with spies all your life, and you don't know it, okay? you got Canadian spies that live with you. you got French spies that live around you. you got Italian spies that live around you. There's spies everywhere in America, okay? And America keeps an eye on the spies that are here, okay? And they wouldn't even show spies this crap here. This is horse shit. Someone's got some explaining to do to tattoo... So anyway, I couldn't help it. I had to blow this out of the water. So the guy that did this one, and it's up here. This is the address for it, and that's the the title on it. And it's some fake crap. Now, some of the footage is real in the beginning and stuff like that when it's slow. But when it got sped up on this, I just, I just like, what the hell is going on? Because I know that even, and then here's another good area, too. I'll blow this up, too. Let's go blow this. Everybody's seen Humvees before, okay? Some people have even bought some military surplus and so forth and so on. And check this shit out. Now, don't get me wrong. If we had barrage balloons, they would look this good from a distance, okay? But spies are around vividly, and they would catch shit like this. And this is not. This is airbrushed. Like I say, as soon as the guy stepped in this van back here, it all started being frozen airbrush shit, okay? And if you don't believe me, that grass has changed, okay? And then you go over here and watch. You'll never see the guy come out of the truck. If you do, they got some really good small airbrushing going on. <laughs> and uh, the railroad trains never look this nice, actually. They always are rusty and crispy corners and stuff like that. Some crazy shit. Yeah, reason somebody's making something crazy fast is a bunch of horse crap. Okay? 
So this is horse shit going on here. And this was back in August. So now check it out to the right though. This is actually honest stuff though to the right as I go up through this campaign stuff. And I know the guy is probably working for possibly this or that. But as we go down here to the right, uh, this is, has got a lot of views on a lot of different numbers. And basically, I'm going to go back a channel here, uh, one page, and you're going to see how many different views. It's basically a widely viewed, and I'll show you how much that we are spidered out there, okay? And I'm not saying that I'm, yeah, I vote Republican most of the time because of the, I don't know why I'm going to vote this time. It, because the actual factual is the idea that they spider anything out there. Because what I do is I go to this, which basically this guy has ended up, uh, he ends up saying that, uh, yeah, I've got to play the ad. Let's skip the ad. And then, uh, We'll get a face of him higher up here. This guy says that he went to Columbia University with Obama, which real name is really It seems to be pretty honest that Barry Sotero is Sotero is Barack Obama's name that he used when he was at Columbia University. Okay, and then they got the birth certificate thing that we know that we've seen. You can see the ink on the fake birth certificate because it's not a live birth certificate. It's basically a certificate of birth. It's not a birth certificate. Okay, so basically we got somebody that's not supposed to be our president legally. So anyway, you should go and watch this video and see what you think. And basically, I'm not doing any advertising for anybody either, but I basically just scroll down there through this. But you can see how everything gets spidered out. See, there's there's 15,000 views at this area, 7,000 at this area, 149, 850 at this area, 19,000 at this area. And basically, this is what's going on with Kerasoft and private dick organizations that can do electrical. Now, I don't give a shit about the election bullshit, about this, about them spidering this guy off in these different areas, because basically this is more than likely the Republican Party that's getting ass-gashed, which I kind of am, don't like that. But basically, uh, and I don't know if he even says that he, uh, and this is some, I don't, I'm not going for any response. I don't even wait to waste my time reading this, but the actual factual over here is they've got him spidered, and they, actually have me spidered on my actual factual data okay because bear with me because that's the that's guy's face and that's the name of the deal now basically it sounds to be be pretty uh legit and the actual factual there's been people that have had ceo jobs that have got kicked out for having falsified information so anyway if he's telling the truth or not but the idea that how somebody with telling him whatever he's got to say which he could get sued the shit out if he's lying, right? And then the actual factual that the idea that how they spider him out because it's got 19,000 views here, 15,360 views here, 7,037 views here, 149,850 views here. So the idea that who knows how many, and like I've said and showed before, uh, that there is uh, crazy, goofy, bad, that that uh, analytics is good as far as your analytics when you look at how many people have seen your channel and stuff like that but it doesn't add up their analytics on each video is a bunch of horse shit they're covering up for tv because people aren't watching tv anymore they want the truth they don't want fake propaganda anymore and when they go looking at it they're getting fake propaganda numbers on video accounts which youtube should wake up and clear up because it's very easy to have good analytics this year. And now and then there's 279,000 on this video. You see what I'm saying? So they've got a lot of people that are telling factual about things spidered out. It's the beginning of communism to me, it smells like to me. Because the idea when you have uh, actual truth being 
you know, I'm not speaking for these guys.